So this is number 29 from chapter 2. And you need to calculate the concentration of acetic acid and sodium acetate. Necessary to make an 0.2 molar buffer solution. at pH 5. You're told the pKa of acetic acid is 4.76 and that's going to be helpful because that allows us to set up the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So we want a pH of 5, we have a pKa of 4.6, oh sorry, 4.76, and we're looking for the molar ratio of conjugate base to acid. So if you take that equation and you solve for the ratio, of acetate to acetic acid, you end up getting 1.7. So at this point, you could actually go two different directions in the way you solve it, but you'll get the same answer. So first I'll do the way that is similar to what we did in class. So if you cross multiply at this point, you're able to say Acetic acid times 1.7 is the amount of acetate that you have. Now that you have that sort of um, balance going on, you can write a different equation out that only has one unknown. And that'll let you solve for that unknown. So the amount of acetic acid plus the amount of acetate, as represented by this term that we just established in this line here, both of those species will add up to 0.2 molar or 0.2 moles per liter and that was established in the beginning of the problem. So when you do the math You can solve for acetic acid, and that will be 0 0.07 molar. So that's half of the problem, and the other half is the amount of acetate that you have. You know the total amount of either acetate or acetic acid is 0 0.2, so you subtract the amount of acetic acid you have, and that gives you the, the amount of acetate. So you've got acetic acid being 0 0.07 molar, and acetate being 0 0.13 molar. The solutions in the back of the textbook do it slightly differently, but they get the same answer, so I'll go through that as well. So they approach it slightly differently, just on a math level, really. So you still have to derive this ratio of acetate to acetic acid, and that'll be 1.7. The way they go about it, thinking about it kind of just ar like arithmetically, there's a 1 in the denominator. So that makes for a total of 2.7 parts of everything. So if there's 1.7 of the acetate, there's 1 of the acetic acid for a total of 2.7. So then they say 
the acetate is 1.7 out of the whole, which is 2.7, and they divide that to come up with 0.63 as the fraction of its total, or 63%. And then acetic acid is 1 over 2.7. And the fraction of the total for that is 0.37, or 37%. So then they just do the math and say 63% is acetate. And it's 63% of 0.2, because that's the total amount that we have. And when you take 63% of 0.2, you come up with 0.13. Thirty-seven percent is acetic acid. And the total is 0.2 molars. And if 37% of it is acetic acid, then you have 0.07 molar of acetic acid. So you, it's just a slightly different way of looking at it on a ratio level or on a math level. A little bit different from the way we did it in class, but the concepts are the same.